Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I would like to welcome you to our little series on soup basics. Now, whether it's cold weather or not, I am always making soup. Living in Florida, we don't get that really chilly weather, so I just have to make soup whenever and turn the AC down when we eat it. But today, our high is only like 62, so ooh, and our low is in the 50s. So perfect soup making weather for Florida. What we're gonna talk about today is stock. We are going to discuss different kinds of stock. We're gonna take chicken stock, which is the most used stock there is, and we're just gonna break it down into your choices. You have three main choices for chicken stock. Now the first and the most expensive is going to your grocery store and buying already made chicken stock, like this one. Now this costs about $3, and I believe it's one quart, um, and that's a lot of money for chicken stock, especially if you're making soup. Now, if you're only using a cup at a time for a sauce or something like that, it's not that expensive. But when you're trying to make soup to feed six people or a portion of six, then you need three of these. Well, okay, so soup just now got expensive because just your liquid alone is gonna cost $9, let alone if you put meat in it, your vegetables, your pasta, whatever. So this is your most expensive option. Now, you can get this BOGO at your grocery stores and when you get it BOGO, then of course your price goes down and that makes it a little easier. Do I always keep this kind on stock? No, probably 50% of the time you'll find one or maybe two of these in my pantry for just in case. Now what I love, 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 love is base. This is what's called soup base. Now, I've explained this to you guys many times in other recipes, um, but I, I can't um, tell you the importance of this in my cooking. Not only do I use it in soups, um, I use it when a, a sauce calls for a cup of uh, broth. I, you mix one teaspoon of this with a cup of water and you have your broth. Um, this is an organic version, which I really like a lot. It's the Better Than Bullion brand, and uh, chicken organic is what I have here. Now, I also have vegetable organic and beef organic in my fridge, but this is by far the one I use the most. And what this is, is basically like, do you remember, um, well, I, they still have it, I think, the orange juice in the freezer section. It's kind of like that. It's concentrated broth. And it is absolutely delicious. Smells absolutely delicious. If you buy the non-organic version, you do get some food coloring in there and it's a little like bright in color. And to me that looks fake. I like the organic one. It also has your salt in here. So let's say you're making a chili and it's Almost all done, but you need a little salt and it's just lacking a little oomph, you know? Put a couple teaspoons of this in there. You get your salt and you get that other layer of flavor that you think you're missing. So this works so good. So this is what I always, always, always have on hand is better than bullion chicken base. Now I keep, the, right now I have the beef and the vegetable in my fridge, but this is the one that's 100% you're always gonna find in my fridge. If a restaurant were to use this kind of broth, it would be a fortune to serve soup. Now there are probably some companies that do buy this in five gallon um, jugs or five gallon food grade buckets and use this, uh, but storage is tough, um, lifting those buckets is tough, Majority of restaurants will use a soup base. Probably not this nice organic one, but they are probably using a soup base. Our third and best choice, but sometimes I'm lazy and don't do it, is getting a whole chicken and making it yourself. Now, the benefits of doing the whole chicken route are you also have chicken meat, so you are cooking your chicken meat at the same time. You don't have to use them together. You could just want the chicken meat, kind of like when you go buy a rotisserie chicken and you're using the chicken. You can use the chicken for a casserole or whatever, and then you have the stock for a different time. 
and you can freeze it in you know Ziploc bags. You can buy containers. It works amazing. It is so simple. You can just load it up all in your crock pot in the evening. I put it out in the garage because I don't want the smell of food in my house while I sleep because it wakes me up. I know it sounds weird, but I put it out in the crock pot on low and it cooks eight to 10 hours and it's done. Then you just get out a colander and you separate out your juices from your uh, meats and you are good to go. Now the problem with that route is if you're cooking a whole chicken in the crock pot overnight, that meat is going to probably be compromised some. It's gonna be um, lo very loose, so um, it'd be good for a shredded chicken, uh, things like that. Not, um, it may not hold up as well if you're trying to have chunks of chicken for a casserole or something like that. So there you have it. Soup Basics Episode 1, what are my stock choices? And you can have them all. Right now, I have them all. I have, I have homemade stock in my freezer. I've got this in my fridge, and I've got this in my pantry. Now, do you have to have that overkill? No, you don't. But for you guys, my first choice for the beginner soup maker is to go out and get yourself some better than bullion. I'm going to have a link below where you're going to be able to purchase this online and you are going to love adding this to so many dishes other than your soups. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'll give you a link above and you are going to be watching how I make a chicken stock using this and we're going to do it on the stove and then I have a special guest. My mommy is coming by to show you all how to make her chicken and dumplings. So this is going to be a super treat for you. So watch these next couple episodes and you are going to finally be introduced to my mom. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Please subscribe below and continue watching this series on Soup Basics.